All right, hey everybody. We're here for the rotisserie draft semifinals. I'm on the draw. My opponent is playing a Jeskai, or really a Boris aggro deck with a couple of blue cards. Draft. And semifinals. I, I need I'm to on the draw. Give myself on my stream. Okay. <laughs> um, keep. This hand's not great, but it's it's alright. He also has no one drops. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mortify is not a bad draw. Play planes. I uh, might have to discard, but it's probably fine. Um, hmm. I could play Godless Shrine. And plan to Mortify next turn. Or play this later. And then I wouldn't have to discard. But that might just be greedy. I have one, two, three. If I discard a Plains, I still have access to five mana. Basically, am I going to Dreadbore this? The answer is probably not. Yeah, I think this is all right. Um, Pitch of Plains. This one I have access to all my cards. I just have to get the game to go long, and I'll probably win. That's how this matchup is, usually. At least was the first time we played it. It's a land, nothing. Uh, I like Alms Beast. Uh, I'm just going to play a land and pass, leave it Mortify. I'm probably just going to Mortify something. And then play my Alms Beast. If he does nothing, I may do nothing also. I expect he probably has a play this turn. He'll just like cast a fire main avenger or something that's a good good target. Hey. Get that out of here. Play this. Play this. Life is good. Does not have a ton of ways to interact with this. He has a couple. He has smite. If he attacks, I probably not block. I'm only taking two. This game's before life. Could also have more leaders, Helix. This is an interesting variant on the format of 6-6. Six, six. I feel like could have been played more. Gideon, Champion of Justice. I can actually Dreadbore that, which is kind of hilarious. If he attacks and bluffs Smite, I, I am I am okay with taking damage. Alright. Um land. Alright, I'm gonna let's see. Do -do -do. Let's look at his deck. Smite is the only one mana card. Um, destroy a target blocked creature. Okay, so he could chump and so what I should probably do 
is dreadboard this and attack it in. I think we'll just play a land and a lantern. Which we don't really need, but that's okay. Oh no. Spark trooper. Um, ow. I guess I take six. So I can hit him back. Alright. Could get burned out. That is a way I could lose. Um, would not like to pay two life. Could die to some like huge Aurelia's Fury. I'm basically gonna play this on anything <laughs> if I give him the chance. I could play it on my own card. It's enchant permanent. True fire paladin. Alright, that's a target. Spell. Uh, the old upkeep pause. What cost five? Aurelia's Fury hit me for one and tap Alms Beast. Okay. So he did not have Smite. I was maybe too careful. I don't know how he has one mana floating. It must have been a misclick. Um. Why can't I cast Faith Sweaters? Oh, this thing doesn't let me play spells either. I can't cast not creature spells. Uh, I might just be dead. One, two, he can, he can make it an eight, so. Yeah, if he has a land, I'm dead. I should have just been straight up dead. Yeah. I assume he's just going to go for it. Uh, yeah, so I was probably too careful. I was even thinking about this card. I forgot it doesn't let you play stuff like that. I wouldn't have cared if I could just cast the face feathers. I assume... Yeah, I'm dead. Alright, uh, well, let's pretend that didn't happen. 
Uh, all right, let's bring in some walls. Probably bring in this guy. Probably this too. If you're watching the stream, by the way, I'm intentionally not looking because we're not supposed to have outside assistance. I'm just showing it so people that don't have Magic Online can watch. Um, all right, let's cut. Um, let's cut the lantern. These are underworld connections. Hmm. Castigate. And what else? I actually don't hate the Alms Beast. Maybe I just take out one of these expensive cards. Maybe I just take out Rakdos' as return. That's still pretty good though. He's he's going bigger. I don't want to be too careful like I was last game. Forgot what I boarded last time. Could cut Batman, I could cut a seven. Maybe I cut one of the sevens. Yeah, and maybe on the draw I'll cut Rakdos' return. Bring something else in. This card is fine on the play, it's pretty bad if I'm behind though. All right, I hope to not mulligan to again. Let's go first. Uh, the sand is okay. So I have white mana. So. No, he kept also. I'm gonna not pay two. Blind hunter is good. Also an acceptable pun in this matchup. Is that fire fist again? Okay, decision time. Don't have multiple white. It's not time to hit his hand yet. So I think I'm just gonna be manifest and play this. Oh, I'd actually target my opponent first. <laughs> Who else am I going to target? Uh, not going to block. That's pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to go for his hand next turn. So this time I can play Keening Apparition as a good blocker. And then I can either Condemn or Mortify as needed. I should have used the Signet. Um, do I attack? See, if he plays a Haste creature, it's going to make somebody unable to block. That's something I need to be aware of. I could just mortify it though before combat. So 
I think I'm going to get him. If he has a haste creature, I'll play Mortify. I'm probably just going to Mortify anyway. Like, all of his creatures attack. So I might as well keep a more efficient spell. Alright, so no effects before combat. Alright, so I'm going to block the true fire. Not just because it killed me last game. That I don't want to take four. <laughs> Cannot read. Gains the old first strike, huh? Um, I guess I'm going to hit it with Condemn. I think it, yeah, I don't know. I've screwed up against this card twice now. I'll do it play slower. And it didn't do anything else. Um, make him discard. And Gargoyles went pretty good for me. This card's just good. Catch and release. There's a goblin on top of an elephant. It's kind of great, actually. Um, okay, so am I going to block Firefish Striker with the Apparition? I think the answer is yes. So I'm just going to attack with this again. And keep my Air Force here. I'd really like to cast this for four. I would actually increase my clock by a turn. And he didn't really give me a reason to cast it yet. Uh, there's probably a trick here. I think I just don't mind. Like if he spends his turn playing a trick, that's good for me. Okay. Taking this radio. No effects. Alright, that's pretty good. So I managed to get him to not really play cards in the last two turns. So I can attack for four. I can play Forest Garrison. I don't know why I bounced the planes though. I'm, I'm kind of loose today. It's playing better last night. Alright, so Drew a land. This is going to be a pretty good time to hit him with this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I can hit him for 5 cards. Yeah, it would have been better if he played something. Uh, I'm going to attack again and see if maybe he'll play an instant. It's like, it's great when you get their whole hand. I guess I'll have to settle for one less than that. This has kind of become my card. It's so powerful. All right, so he's not casting anything in response. He's going to have to have something pretty good here. 
Solifuge, Aurelia, Compulsive Research, War Leader, Celix, Wear Tear. So you literally, I guess you could have cast Wear. They basically couldn't cast any of these cards. Okay then. So it was this mana screwed. He's got to have removal, basically. Because if he just okay, so if he just plays blockers, I've got it covered. Okay, how am I gonna sideboard? I was gonna take this out, but it was so good just now. <laughs> Hard to convince myself to do that. Um, Master of Cruelty is as good if I can keep it alive. I wonder if it's better than Alms Beast. I don't think I like this card as much on the draw. Alright, so do I want the Primordial? I want the primordial. I think I don't. Yeah, maybe return is still better. Just like preemptively getting three cards or something is pretty insane. Like that's a his clock's not that fast if I have some early interaction, which it, I usually do. I have so many threes now. So I think this may actually just be better. Well, I'm not positive. Just not missing anything here. Yeah, I don't think I want any of these. There's not enough targets for this. There may not be enough targets for this. But I think just playing it and killing a Firefish Striker is, is pretty good value. Alright. Ooh. I do not think I can keep this. This literally casts zero spells. Yeah, I can't keep this. That's not great. But I probably have to play it. I get to scry. Hope I can find a cheap removal spell. All right, I'm definitely going to keep that. Now I can at least do the Boris Garrison thing without taking extra... Oh, hmm. Is that actually good? Yeah, I guess like I have to get to higher mana costs. I could see this being wrong, but I'm going to keep it. Um, is there any reason? I'm going to have to bounce whatever land I play. Let's play the Blood Crypt, because I could, if I hit a third land, I may wait on this. Yeah. If I'm not paying the two life, it really doesn't matter. This is slightly higher upside. Him not having a two helps a lot.
Oh, so he thought it was a hallowed fountain. I'm not complaining. Okay, so now, now I'm just gonna well. Well, now I just have untapped black, so I'm just gonna play this anyway. I just like trolling with the floating the mana. Okay. Fire fist striker. Oh, that's 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 awful. I can't cast this. Um well I'll cast it next turn. Gargoyle, get in there. He's got all these, all these fuse guards. All right, turn and burn down. He must have not be worried about this, or he probably would have kept turn and burn. I don't hate blocking here, but I think I'm going to take it. I don't want to be in a situation where this guy can't block, though. So maybe I do just block. I'm just trying to get to the late game. I also have Rakdos' return. Boros Reckoner. Okay, it's fine. Um, all right, so I think I'm gonna. I can cast a signet. I can play planes. I can cast souls of the Fallows. I am careful about how I tap my mana. And then next turn, I'll probably go for his hand. If he attacks, I am going to block. <laughs> All right. Survived the turn. One, two, three, four, five. So I can return for four. Or I can cast Master of Cruelties. I think I like that better. So he missed his land drop. And played nothing. So yeah, I think, yeah, this is better. He's only going to play like one spell, presumably. Or he would have played something this turn. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's just. He could have a counter spell. Hmm. He does have a counter spell that makes you pay one for each um, spell rupture. Yeah, that makes you pay one for each creature he has. I think that's what it does. Great, uh, the greatest power. That is not the same thing. Maybe I'm just going to Rakdos' return him then. Getting this countered would be pretty bad. And if he's like runs out of removal, that's also... That's also good news for this guy. Okay, well he didn't have it. <laughs> 
Helix might solve a huge fire main. I think that's a good card. Okay, I like my position now. It's not terrible. Alright, so I can attack with this. So let's do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can play this and make a bat. Yeah, told you that. Uh, probably gonna double block. Yeah, might as well. Make him do something. Okay. Hot tip's not bad. Actually, I can attack with everything, and if he blocks here, then I can kill it, finish it with a pontiff. That doesn't seem bad. I guess he could shoot the bat. I think I'm okay with it. trading a bat for the Boris Reckoner and this thing. Card's pretty scary. That was bad. Forgot it gains first strike. Man, I'm Punting all over the place. It's not over yet. It's still pretty far ahead. I still have a two turn clock, so I attack for four, and then I can, I guess I can, I still have the pontiff, so I can pump the guys. It's a good draw. Uh... 
I can also just make a bat on his end step. It's probably even even better. I'll not do anything else this turn. Frontline medic, sure. All right, I think I'm going to get there, even though it didn't play very well. Phew, okay. Well, you have to play better than that to win the finals. It's a good matchup. Um, okay, we got there. Um, I think I'm going to... Get Hunter in on the video call here. Well, Good games. yeah, I don't think I played very well. Oh, yeah. Definitely made a couple of errors. I forgot Boris Reckoner gets first strike in the last game. Forgot True Fire Paladin gets first strike in the second game. <laughs> it was just... Oh, uh, I was wondering about those, yeah. Um, Did you have Gas and Gloom or something to kill the Reckoner? I had Orzhov Pontiff to give him minus one minus. Oh, okay. One. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which I actually never played. Yeah, I was trying not to get it killed, so I didn't want to just shoot something with it. Yeah, luckily for me, I have these random enormous brick wall creatures that usually win the game if I draw them, but I made that harder than it needed to be. That was a pretty sweet <laughs> yeah. play to win the first game, though. Like, I was tapping mana and like trying to, why can't I cast this Fates Fetters? <laughs> yeah, I, I, know, I saw that. <laughs> um, I wonder if it realized. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't soak up that last mana in my pool. That didn't make a lot of sense. Maybe I, I didn't pick the damage drawing or something. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess if you didn't top deck a land, that would have been relevant. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, let's see, I wasn't the prettiest match. I was kind of short on lands two and three. It was kind of yeah, disappointing. The, I actually had, and I said like in the commentary, when I was sideboarding for game one, I was like, I'm probably going to board at Rakdos return if I win game two. And then it was so good game two, I just kept it in for game three. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was seen the one when I got so. When I haven't been able to play anything until that point, <laughs> it yeah. seemed pretty good. <laughs> did you have an untapped land the last game on turn two, or did you just think you did? Or did you like actually play the wrong one, or did you just not have it at all? No, I had Azorius Guildgate and Sacred Foundry, so I could have played uh, Firefish Striker on turn two. But I just I literally read it as Hallowed Fountain, so I was like, oh, it doesn't matter, just pick one. Uh, so it wouldn't really have made a difference because I didn't. I only had two lanes in hand. I see. So then I I drew the Boros Guildgate on like turn four or something useless. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, um, can remember how I sideboarded the first time we played. I was like messing around with stuff. I wasn't sure exactly what the right configuration was. I ended up boarding out one of the seven drops, and like castigate, and I don't know things that didn't affect the board. Okay. Because I had all these walls. I got lava crew and souls of the Fallows. Yeah, I took out a bunch of two drops and brought in slower stuff, I guess. Yeah. Because two drops aren't going to do anything against your walls and 
game or kill spells. Right. Yeah, the <clears throat> I had. Let's see, my Mulligan game three was four white spells and zero white mana, so it seemed pretty Ouch. straightforward. And then I had like Blood Crypt, Boros Garrison, and four spells, and then I had a planes on top, so it played out all right. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I didn't really like keeping two lands, but I had two drop, three drop, two four drops, and a five drop. So I was like, well, if I get anything, right, it's got it at least. Yeah, I feel like I, I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, I think I made mistakes in all the games. It was uh, not not the best, but my cards lined up well. Um, I think I played too much around Smite in game one, like when I dreadboard the Firefish Striker. I probably should oh, have yeah. dreadboard Gideon and attacked. Like if you had it, then well, that wasn't the end of the world. Uh, or just I mean, that guarantees and... that guarantees they both die at least, I guess. Yeah, or I could have just attacked, and then if you had it, then if you probably if you don't have it, then I know you'll chump, and then I can dreadboard Gideon. And it's I guess it's sort of the same thing, but yeah. Um, I I kind of was like operating under the assumption that if I got to like turn six, I would win, and then that happened, and I didn't, and then I took the next two games. Or I approach a little differently the next two games. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, I get to rematch with Crispy. He drew very badly the one we played in the the regular season. So yeah, I'm not that's the only reason I beat him in the regular is because he had to mulligan yeah. a lot. I think his deck's pretty good, so I'll have to we'll, we'll see what happens. I guess. Yeah. Um, I'm off to. Actually, go see Star Wars, which I have not seen yet. So, oh, cool! Believe it or not, um, things keep happening. Like, I've tried to see it three different times, and the people I was going to go with like canceled on me. And then I was going to yeah. go last night, but there was snow. Um, now all the snow's gone, so I'm going to go now. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, well, uh, yeah, good games. I will talk to you later. We'll see you in the mirrored and draft. Sounds good. Good luck in the finals. Thank you.